Hi everyone, today I'm going to make spinach with baby lamb. Uh, you can make it with beef or chicken too. It tastes just as nice as with lamb. So let's see how to make spinach with baby lamb. First of all, I've got half cup of clarified butter or ghee. You can use uh, oil too if you like. I'm using ghee just uh, because it tastes nice in the ghee. Uh, here I've got one large size onion. I've already sliced and I'm going to fry this onion in this ghee until it turns nice and golden. Make sure it doesn't burn. It should be brown in color. Here you can see our onion is nicely sauteed. Here I've got half a kg of baby lamb. You can use beef or chicken if you like. Now I'm going to just cook it on high heat until it changes color it's not pink or white and make sure you keep stirring around as well so it gets cooked from all the sides you will see it will not take long time it will be done in two three minutes and the lamb will change its color keep stirring So this is how it looks like, you can see it has changed color, it's not pink or white. Next I'm going to add in ginger and garlic. I've got 1 tablespoon of ginger paste and 1 tablespoon of garlic paste. You can use fresh ginger and garlic too if you like, that will give even a better taste. Now we're going to fry it again for a couple of minutes on high heat until our ginger and garlic gets nicely fried in the ghee too. So it will take a couple of more minutes. Here we are going to add in spices. So I've got one tablespoon of garam masala powder or mixed spice powder, half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of salt or to taste one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder or to taste i'm using less as my kids are younger and one bay leaf one teaspoon of dried fenugreek mix it all around for another three four minutes until all the spices are nicely coating the meat and you'll see the meat will change its color and it will start to smell very nice too fry it until you can smell a nice aroma of all the spices we just added in you can see our lamb uh, has changed color too it looks very nice we're going to cook it for three four minutes this is how it looks like now you can see the ghee is separating from the meat and the gravy Here I'm going to add in 3 fourth cup of yogurt, just a little bit less than 1 cup. We're going to stir it around and cook it for another 6-7 minutes. I'm using baby lamb so it will be done uh, very soon, in 20-30 to 30 minutes it will be cooked. And I'm not going to use any water here, but if you think that your meat will not get cooked uh, without using water then feel free to use water uh, first you cook it in yogurt it's been around 10 minutes that I'm cooking in yogurt at this point if you think the meat is not going to be cooked without adding water you can add in water as required in the meat and cover it and cook on medium heat until the meat gets tender I'm not going to add any water and I'm going to cover it and cook it on medium heat for until lamb is done you can see it's been 15 minutes here and 
this is how lamb looks like and it's almost done and I did not use any water here but you can use water as required and cook it covered on medium heat until your meat is done so this is how it looks like here uh, I've got 1 kg of spinach I've already boiled it if you want you can add in 5 to 6 green chilies while you're boiling spinach and uh, a bit of vinegar as well drain the water and this is your spinach that you're gonna cook with your uh, meat you can use fresh spinach as well if you like that will also taste just as good but I'm using it boiled here I'm gonna uh, put this spinach into our meat and we're going to stir it around and cook it for at least 10 to 12 minutes until everything gets nicely combined it's been around 10 to 12 minutes now and this is how our spinach and lamb looks like Here I'm going to add in around 5 tablespoons of fresh cream. If you uh, don't have fresh cream at home available, you can add in half a cup of milk too. That will just be fine. As spinach has a bitterness to it naturally, so cream or milk will balance the taste. Stir it around, mix it thoroughly, and our lamb and spinach is ready to be served. Dish it out. Garnish it with some fresh coriander leaves and chili and enjoy with your friends and family i hope you like this recipe if you like it then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can get all of our recipes in time you can serve it with boiled rice or chapati or naan it tastes just as good with anything you like do try it and let me know what do you think about it i hope you enjoy this recipe see you until next time goodbye